vibing in chief vibing in chief we be vibing in chief vibing in chief pour up some drink yeah. fbs hateful j special k we are back sorry we had some technical uh, difficulties um shit happens man you know what i mean you got software to could whatever we about to get into this shit um special k if you're still here glad you're still here you know what i'm saying like it, it is what it is um we do have a dope show we are going to entertain what the rest of the world has been enter- uh. entertaining um thus far in the world and we all know that's Dude, the only thing the world has uh, been entertained it, it's with. kind of a, it's kind of annoying um but we're gonna bs for Dude, a minute it, yeah and that's the rona of course if y'all don't know it's the rona the Rona, the so Rona, the Rona, but no, the um, Rona. We gonna get into some BS. Of course, we got our shit. We do have entertainment in reference to the Rona. We got our shit. We got our usual shit, and we about to rock. Um, about to rock. Special K, how you be though, man? How's life? How, how are Dude, things? Dude, life is like a roller coaster that is just that's a B, up that's and a down. B song. That's B O B song. Is it? So, yeah. I wasn't even trying to quote it's it. I wasn't trying dope. to quote it. Dope. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. I feel like. I get hit with some great news sometimes, but then I get hit with shitty news. Mm-hmm. And man, when it gets hit with that shitty news, it's like it just rains. Like everything be fine in life. We're like financially things are going great, everything else going great. So like everything that could fuck you up mentally starts yeah. happening. Yeah, that's, that's how it goes, bro. Like, like what the fuck? Shit, shit tends to uh, even itself out in the most fucked up ways. You know what I'm saying? I completely agree. So that's why State of the World is where it's at because now now everybody's feeling and it ain't really that bad right now. People are kind of bugging out, but. Let's get into this BS so we can get, get into, into it. Into the nitty, the nitty of the gritty. The nitty of the grittiest. Um, random shit, Special K. I love, I love the theater mode on YouTube. The theater mode. This is random, bro. But or it just makes it bigger. Theater mode is my shit, dog. Are you talking about full screen or just a little nah, bit bigger? Theater mode is just like boom. It's Bear. like wide screen at the top. I can still. I can get through the chat. Yeah, you know what I mean. I love that shit. That's just random. It's thought. helpful. This is something I wanted to tell you. It's something I wanted to share with you because it's something I thoroughly enjoy. You know. It's, it puts me in a whole different uh, inter- I this. entertainment perspective. And you know, everybody's been talking about uh, we're going to definitely get into some some Rona conspiracies. Some Rona conspiracies. But the one that the one that I've been thinking about is like uh, everybody's saying that the Internet, what's going to happen on the Internet, the Internet is next to go down. You think the Internet will be next? Everybody, no, I'm not saying that. But there, it's one of those theories out there. It's one of those, yeah, well, it's, it's one of those things that people are posting. A computer virus spreads. So maybe the coronavirus is a computer burp. virus spread. Mm. Nah, there's no way they'll shut that down. Yeah, I just I, I don't just don't see that, that happening. I don't really like the idea though. Um Special K, did you know? And I was thoroughly shocked at this dog. Thoroughly shocked? Did you know they still make phone sex commercials, bro? Wait, phone sex commercials? No, they don't. Yeah, they do, bro. I saw one on Comedy Central the other day. Black Dude, Connor and Central always had the girls going wild commercials, so I believe this now. Bro, like, third, like real shit phone sex commercials, bro. First five minutes free, motherfuckers. I didn't, I didn't like it. Like the girls wasn't. I, it was weird. It was bad. Like it was the most awkward. Yeah, low, low budget. You know what I'm watching? It, it was. Watching. It was super awkward though. But I've, I haven't seen a phone sex commercial in. Dude, have you ever in your time? Because we were both alive during the um the whole polarity of phone sex, yeah, and the whole polarity of like even just fucking prank phone calls because you don't that's not that thing anymore. But uh, yeah. I never called up it because that was always expensive, and I never had like a credit card to ever do that, and I never would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want someone to marry for <laughs> I've me. I've never done that. That's just the closest I've got to it is like at some point in close to adult life, there was like these free lines that people would call and like. It was weird, man. I don't know, but that was like a one-time thing. It was weird, man. With some friends, and I kind of like watched them do, like, what you do? But it wasn't, you know, whatever. I ain't got time for that shit. Um, just rando, bro. That new Lotto shit from Jordan Lucas, this little music. Hot. Fire. It's just good. Um, but all this shit's good. I'm like, I'm, to the point, like, every time it comes out, I'm just like, I'm expecting good. Yeah. If he comes out with one bad song, I feel like I'm going to be so disappointed because I'm like, ah, oh, you cut it so many times. I don't think there's been a bad song. No, there hasn't. I think he's good so far. Nah, he is good so far. You know what I'm saying? But Jordan Luke, Jordan Luke is definitely underrated, bro. But it's a lot of good music. And it's it's like low, I think he's doing very well. It's like low-key shit, too, that's that's hitting real hard. Like, I like the little MGK song, but ain't nothing I'll, I'll play too much. But I'll play in the vibe. It was supposed to be Eminem disc. Uh, Bullets got no names, is that what you said? Uh, bullets, uh, bullet with bullet, names. Bullets with names. 
a little, a little MGK with Young Thug and some other rando niggas in there. It's, it's okay. It's, it's got a good cadence and beat. <laughs> that's that's it. No, it's these. It's definitely something to, like you ride around to. You know what I mean? What you say a little bit. It is a little bit. Um, Smush, you got anyone, any BS that you want to entertain? Dude, any BS that any, I want to entertain? Anything that you want the people to know that they really probably don't need to know, but it don't hurt to tell. I mean, I don't. There's nothing I really want people to know. Um, I'm a little bit confused with people. I don't really want to jump into our hub subject, but you got it. I know what you're about to go ahead. It, go ahead. What our stores are just so weird to even be at right now. Duh. I feel like I'm in a world of lost puppies, and they're all just trying to just find food. What is? What's with the toilet paper, bro? Dude, I have no What's idea. Me? It's enough that it gets you scared just because. You go to the store and there's fucking none, and you're like, God damn it, if I don't have toilet paper one day. Why are y'all buying toilet paper? Like, well, that's a necessity. You need a toilet paper. What, what, what triggered toilet paper? These motherfuckers say, wash your hands, and you motherfuckers want to get toilet paper. Toilet paper. What does that mean? What, 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 why? What is that? I wish. I really want to know, bro. This is not something that Dude, I'm... Dude, I'm mad confused by it. I'm mad confused. It's not something I'm toying around with. I really want to know what is with the toilet paper. First thing to sell out. Very first thing. You understand? Dude, the idea of it being the first thing to sell out is fucking weird. I kind of hate it. I hate everything about yeah, it. Yeah, unless you know people follow right up with the paper towels because that's the second choice to go to Hand the paper Hand sanitizer. Towels. Yeah. Do you see hand sanitizer going for like hundred dollars a bottle on eBay? Are they actually is that real things? Those were just like memes, nah, dude. Nigga, that was real. That's crazy. That was real. That's just crazy. That was real. You hear about the little kid and he ain't a kid, he's like an 18, 19 year old in some fucking town. He has like a whole garage full of like hand sanitizers and like some other cleanly shit and like complaining really? that, complaining that he can't sell it. He's complaining he can't sell it. Yeah, I guess people won't buy shit because they think he's a dick. Like you are kind of a dick, bro. Like you're automatically a dick, bro. We have learned, and like you said, bro. I don't want to hop into this too early, but let's just fucking get into it because it, it's everything. It's everything right now. We are learning that motherfuckers are selfish, dog. Dude, That's everyone's all we selfish. This. We are learning that if it comes to a point where if. There's only one roll of toilet paper. You will not be shared that toilet paper with somebody else. That other person will just keep it. Yeah. Because they are that stingy. This, bro, this, the toilet paper situation is like jail right now. Dude, I'm so confused. Like, there's similar ways to wipe your ass. Like, there's people, I don't know if you camp, you could use a leaf. Tell, tell me about this. How many ways are How many ways to wipe your ass? Especially I mean, pump? I'm sure you could buy, like, go to the dollar store. You just rack up on, like, dish towels. Yeah. And you take a dish towel. That's you're just spending. You take. You, it's a dollar to shit. Dollar dish towel with you. That's disgusting. Bro. Maybe put some water on it, dampen it. I don't know. Well, I don't, that's gross. But you ain't gotta wash the towel every time. I would throw it away. You can't. But then that's still a waste, though. You it's you a paying dollar. a dollar per ass wipe. Well, yeah, I mean, you are not per ass wipe. I think one towel can get a full ass clean. Well, you know what I mean. Per ass wipe. Per full. Ass, yeah. You made a dollar per full ass wipe. I don't think that's going to break down the same as toilet paper. But I get that. But like, if needed be, ugh, bro, I'm just thinking about a bunch of doo doo rags. That is a right. You take you take a sheet and like that cut is, it in the forest. You're making me want right. to buy toilet paper with this conversation. With it, I might. Dude, buy. my my dad hit me with the weird shit. He's like, you can go to Home Depot and get toilet paper and paper towels, which I don't even know this is a real thing. Yeah. I know they have t- uh, paper towels, like hardcore ones. Yeah, dude, I have no idea if they have toilet paper. But he's hitting me with all these random places, and I'm like, I don't even know if I want to go there because I assume that only toilet paper they do have, yeah, has never been sold. Bro, you can use those uh, the doggy training pads. Oh, those yeah, expensive though. Those are but expensive. But you can like slice them down, cut them down. That's what I'm saying. You can. There like, are you ways, get good. bro. You can take like notebook paper, soak it in water, let it dry. It'll get a little it, softer. You know, if what you mean? have a, a bidet, pliable. you're fine right now. How to wipe your butt in the apocalypse? With Hateful J and Special K. If you have a little bit day, a little water cleaner, like take you go and you gotta clean it with water, and you just gotta do like two, three good wipes, boom, you're saving so much paper. This or is a towel space. This this is this is absolutely disgusting. You know that, right? This is terrible, I'm sorry. Second. I don't know how I got here. Second, I mean we're talking about the Rona. The Rona makes you talk about boo boo because everybody bought the Rona. Paper. Yeah. Um the Rona. The soap situation. Soap is fine. 
But the hand sanitizer situation. I don't know if everybody forgot that there was a thing where like you use too much hand sanitizer is like kind of bad for fighting the germs. Kind of like takes away. Is it? Does it like ever do it? Is yeah. Like, like that was you know that's you what they told you in like hospital. The first set. Yeah. Like my hands are permanent huh. ashy because I wash them like seventeen times a day, so like I don't have this problem. Like but I'm it's hot. like it doesn't do you any good about more than what you can use. Yeah. If this was a zombie, if it was a zombie thing, and that's one of the conspiracies, we're going to get into the conspiracies. If this was a zombie thing, bro, we would be so fucked. Like, it would be also so fucked. many people without shit. We would be so completely, I mean, I'm down for the whole zombie thing. But there would be a lot of people screwed out of it. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it'd be, it wouldn't be a fun situation. People um, be like, oh, what'd you get for the zombie apocalypse? I got toilet paper. That was what you fucking cared about? Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Hella toilet paper, bro. Before water, though. Cool. You're going to make that before many water. shits before, before you die? Like, sh- it was toilet paper. It was paper over water, bro. This is stupid. Paper, water, shits. That's a new game. It's not rock, paper, scissors anymore. Dude, That's I'm going to be stupid. honest. I'm someone who... I feel like I use a lot of toilet paper, and I think toilet paper is super necessary. Yeah. But I don't think it's anything near crazy ever. I am a big virus... Uh, Not virus. What the fuck? I am a big paper towel user. I use a fuck ton of paper I, towels. Yeah, me too, bro. Like... It's Sunday. Like, I got cussed out already. Like, you got to be careful. We're going to be getting Because, like, on normal, I'll run through that 12-pack. On the pulpit, easy. Dude, I can get yeah, my hands can get rained on. I want to take a whole piece of paper towel and instantly. It, I'm like, I don't Yeah, bro. Like, hands. use paper towel for everything. Look at that little dot right. spill. I spilled some wine on the counter. Just oh, instantly, Two yeah. droplets. I need about four of these paper towels. <laughs> Perfect, yeah. Motherfucker, but <clears throat> it is what it is, man. I don't I don't give a damn. Um, I do paper towels. Um, do you want to get into this, bro? Should we nerd out first? I kind of want to nerd out first. Nerd out? Out I way, can man. nerd out. You know what I mean? We are on Twitch.tv. You know what I mean? Shout um, out to everybody that's watching. If y'all watching. And if y'all came and then y'all left, we understand. Um, I understand. Well, we but, get it. We get it. Um, yeah, let's nerd out, bro. I've been thinking, especially even, even more with this whole corona shit being trapped in the house. More shit's going to be shut down. More and more. The streamers and the gamers are about to eat, bro. Like, oh, dude, for sure. If you're a popular streamer and gamer right now, this, this like, is not going nuts. That's why we trying. I'm trying to get in this shit too. I'm, like, I'm thinking like the podcast hot- downloads already going up, so this might even help well, even more. Like, say like there's uh, a top three people that are just fucking going great right now, and you're saying one streamers, which I agree with 100 percent too. I think your local weed guys are gonna be going doing good. Because any money people do have, yeah, if we, like we have nothing to do. People don't want to smoke weed. It's it's a thing. I've been reading tons of Facebook posts saying like stoners aren't even mad; they can just smoke instead at all. Yeah, great news. Yeah, and it's just it's um that's wild. I'm loving that though. For what I was talking about. Dope. Yeah, I'm, I love that. But um, I don't know, man. I think. It is a good time to take advantage. Um, but it's a great time to take advantage. But with all that, I'm thinking I need to master a game. You want to master? What's your game you want to master? Are you I going for like a shooter? You I don't for an know, RPG? bro. And that's what, that's what I was going to ask you Good first. Like, this is tough. I could probably guess yours better than I can guess mine because I know uh, what type of shit know. you play. But then that's hard. Like, there's so many games. Like, I would honestly If you're taking the best bet, you might as well jump into Battle Royale. But I hate Battle Royales, bro. No, I'm not going to do it. I I'm not gonna shit. do it. Yeah, Call of Duty just dropped a new one. Dude, they've been they've since. had Call of Duty has had a fucking huge response from that. I don't even know if it's good or bad, but of course, a free Call of Duty game, people are popping off on that shit. I mean, I should play it. They had um, what was the first ever six million players in twenty four hours? Holy fuck! Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Like Call of Duty has one of the most loyal fan bases. Oh yeah, but I don't know, bro. It would. I feel like if I had to choose a genre, the closest I can get to choosing is that. Hand to hand combat fighting shit. The hand to hand, like combat, Smash Bros. or like Street Fighter no, or like, more I, I combat. Guess not hand to hand, like four, like four honor, something like that. Oh, four. Okay, I like that. That was my you. shit. Like it's got to be um something that you can't button mash. A game you just we just talked about. It's like called like not Suicide Squad, but it's something that's we talked about it in one episode. It was a new upcoming game, and you said it was a battle royale. Yeah. But it was actually kind of like For Honor. 
Because you have to get close to people and do stuff. The bleeding edge shit. Bleeding edge, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's a lot of them are like samurai looking characters, stuff yeah, like I that. Yeah, I saw that shit, yeah. I downloaded it and everything, then I ended up erasing it, all the stuff. Yeah, dude. Space on an Xbox is ridiculous. Yeah, bro, I don't like it's it. It's fucking but stupid. But I'm kind of waiting for the new shit. But I got to master something. I want to master something. I have to dude, master something. Good. I have to get in this feels good, game. too. I don't want to be a like, stream of gaming, be trash bag, cut it. But then Just again, I got fun with that, too. But I still want to be a beast, though. I still want to have good moments. I get you. I get you. Like, I'll just be the gamer that gets trolled because he's trash bagged, which I could definitely have fun with that, too. You're like, cool, troll the fuck out of me. Well, like, yeah, like, Douches. I would definitely, like, have jokes and. You're just ready for it. You're like, bring it on. You know what I mean? But. Bring it on, please. I want to I I beast out of something. What would you What would you do, bro? Uh, Well, if I had to play a Battle Royale, it would be Tetris 99. <laughs> yeah. Cause I don't know Tetris why. 99. I want to stream Tetris. Cause Nobody would say that after saying Battle Royale. That's All right. Crazy. But Tetris I'm, is still I'm fire. A little, I would go outside the box on that one. Tetris is still fire. Though. Um, I would like to do something. I would love to do a multiplayer game with people, or like an MMO. MMO. Like say me and Harry like played an MMO, and I stream me playing the MMO and just fucking dominating shit. That'd be dope. The MMO would be fun. My like, computer. Uh, that probably be my that new shit that's out. I can't remember the fucking name of it, but I'm gonna figure it out and I'm gonna send it to you because it's free right now. Free play days. Yeah, I love Xbox. free play days. Thing Xbox got it going. FPDs, oh. all day. Speaking of streaming, GTA Five roleplay, bro, is still killing shit. And it's so fire. Have you got to? Have you got to play it? Nah, bro. It's like because for real, to get the actual modded game, you gotta have it on PC. I got you. I got you. You know what I mean? Like they got it on Xbox and shit with Discord, but it's not. It's not. Do you like actually find items and stuff like that, bro? It's it's modded to death, bro. Like it's that's kind of dope. That's like fire. Like it's modded out. Like you can be. Fucking, I'm gonna hit on it. You can work for the water company. You can be a police. You can be a stripper. You can fucking break in houses. Like you choose your life. You gotta follow certain. Like yeah, it's it's literal. Like what you, like I feel like we talked about what GTA should be, just fully open world where you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, it is. Like and that's what it is right now. GTA is like the R version of Sims. Yeah, fix your mic, dog. Um, the bro, R bro, version bro, of Sims. Guy. They dropped a new Xbox spec specs. Um, I don't. I don't. The Series X. I don't read those things, but it's a powerhouse, and that's all I'm gonna say. I'm just waiting to see the system, bro. We've seen plenty of systems launch and be trash bags, and just just flop. You think it's gonna be trash bag? You're right. No, 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 no. I'm saying I'm not gonna get excited yet. Oh, okay, I agree with that. Because. Sony still might be number one. I still haven't decided if I want to convert. I, I'm pretty. Sony's got my vote currently. Convert in my gaming opinion. religions, bro. They got the VR shit coming. You know what I mean? Who I play? They already got it coming. They already have it. I mean, they they upgrading, upgrading. Oh, like getting big they're with way it. Way more into it. Yeah, they going VR, VR, bro. That's just a smart move. VR's like, probably like VR. futuristic. I yeah. go for it. They VR now is already like one of it's like top five or some shit. Like, VR can get fun as fuck, man. Yeah, VR is fire. I would love to stream that shit. Um, there you go. I can stream some VR. I can play Beat Saber. What's up? Yeah, bro. I get busy. Bada, bada, bada. What the fuck is going watch you move all flailing around the room and shit? Dude, all day. Um, we kill that shit. Nerd out. Another thing. It's not gaming. It's not anything. It's starting to get weird, bro, with the Google and FB recognition of interest thing. Oh, dude, it's terrible. It's it's I have it with it's Amazon, Facebook, Google. It's starting to get bro, like you can literally say something now. And boom, there it is. It's on fan and boom, yeah. You scroll down one thing, you see one person's post on a wall, you scroll down, boom, what you were just talking about is there. It's and you're scary, like scary dog. Uh what the fuck? It's scary, bro. Like this is too creepy for me. Yeah, it's like it's I was just too creepy. It's like I was talking about the population control shit last week, not in a really intense way, but in fact like I mean, it's pretty much under wraps. Like, that's one of them, bro. You can say cheeseburger and go to your motherfucking Facebook page and you got all the cheeseburger places that are near you with suggestions, bro. Like, menus and everything. It's yep. wild, nigga. Like, I got to take a dookie and you'll get a fucking toilet paper out of your feet. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, Still any toilet paper? Here's you know. the... Here's your e, even if there is no toilet paper, you could eBay ads. Yeah, here's bro, eBay. Like, yeah, get it right now. Saying, $20. We want out of toilet paper. Scroll, scroll. Toilet paper here. Toilet paper there. $70 a roll. Like, back to the yeah. toilet paper thing. Listen... I can't. Stop. Stop. We're getting embarrassed. The toilet paper memes are fire. Like the niggas bagging up toilet paper. Oh, they're great. Those are fire. Those the are new fire. dealers being like toilet paper users. It, oh, it, toilet paper people. It can get that way. That's dope. 
it can definitely get that way. I'm happy with. I'm happy in the meme life right now. You know what I mean? Like the the meme, the meme. It's it's kind of overdone with Corona shit, but when they get creative with it, it's fire. You know like what I'm saying? I, I don't care how scared you are over coronavirus, you have to laugh at some of the stuff that they're showing on Facebook. Yeah. Because you're getting some of the most genius. You're getting a lot of stupid shit, but you're getting a lot of genius shit at the same time. Yeah, yeah. You're getting the jokesters coming out. Yeah, facts. Comic um, relief is there. And look, let's jump back to this corona thing, man. Um, that was off of the nerd now. I ain't got much, but the only thing I might can add is that the collectors in the world are not phased at all. By, by what do you mean? By any of the corona shit. Like, every group, every person is posting something corona related. We haven't been on that shit. At you know all. I mean, I think Mel dropped a couple memes. And I, you know, sent out some some, some well wishes to, like, you know, the service industry. Because they're getting hit hard right now. Um, oh, for sure. Service. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, shout out y'all, bro. And I, pro- I promise it'll be okay. But. We're going to make it. The collectors aren't doing it. Like the collectors are still like mm, for trade, mm, in search of like this is like nothing changed, bro. Dude, it's like gamers; it's disregarded. Yeah, like you're like, oh, that's cool. There's stuff going on. I'm just at my house, doing my thing. Yeah, only thing's gonna affect gamers is lack of internet. Only thing's gonna affect collectors is if they shut down the mail. Dude, I don't know if they could shut down. How can an internet? What if there was a virus so down, good it went through know. the internet? Oh, you shit. know what I mean? If it's all right, let's get to conspiracy so I can elaborate on things. And you got you got dude, I have tons of these, notes. yeah. So let's get to it, and I'm and I'm I'm just I'm gonna just ride with you on this, bro. Right, you know what I mean? Conspiracy, we go conspiracy. You know, and I have them in no order. I'm taking no sides with none of them. I just looked at these, and I'm like, if it was something that upset me, and I had a little doubt, where I was like, that's possible, I wrote yeah. it down. Yeah, yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Right, get busy. We all obviously have all been told one thing: that hey, the coronavirus came from animals in China. That's all yep. I've been told. But China completely blames USA. Of course. It says there was an army who visited the Wuhan, which is like the place it all started in mm-hmm. October, and that's yep. when it all started spreading. Get more comfortable. Listen to you. Number talk. two. <sighs> People are saying it's a Chinese bioweapon. Yeah. And they're ever playing it completely on purpose. Yeah. Number three. It's a U.S. bioweapon. Mm-hmm. And Iranian, China, and Russia have all accused us of it being a USA bioweapon. Mm, 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 mm. And the Arab world, like SARS and swine flu. I don't know if Arab is the appropriate term, so excuse us. We're not. I'm not saying we're it not might very be rude. PC. So if anybody gets yeah. offended, once again, like I've said before, just click it. Just click the thing. Dude, this was this was the link, and I don't. <laughs> I feel vague, but this is how it was literally said in the site. No, man, we we, 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 we just let like, y'all know that we're not. You know. Yeah, we're just saying it how it was read. I have nothing to Go say ahead, on the that. camera's a little crooked. Keep talking. Uh, like SARS and swine flu, the U.S. is just doing this to sell vaccines and it's psychological warfare to their own people. Yeah. So, like, evidently, it's not a racist way because they think we're just doing this because we're stupid. Right. And we're obviously going to buy for it, which is completely possible by the way things are seeming right now to me. Yeah. And the Philippines, they think we are... Uh, just in a bio war with China, just trying to fuck each other ever. Like, they're not sure, but they know we're, like, trying to do stuff to each other. There has been some China beef. Dude, we always get in beef with yeah, China. NBA and all that shit. I don't know if you've seen the new whole, like, another bird flu thing with China, too. Yeah, H5N1, but apparently yep. it doesn't affect, affect humans. Oh, fair, fair. Um, Okay, I ain't gonna stop you. You probably got more. You got more? No, nah, that's, my, that's my conspiracy sheet, I believe. Yeah. Okay, we gonna elaborate on these. We'll talk about these. Um, But did you hear the... uh? 5G shit. Well, the 5G is about killing birds. The new 5G towers that um they're they're supposedly emit, emitting a wave of I don't know if you consider it sound whatever the wave of energy that would emit that would literally have an effect on human beings. Well, I've heard, dude, I've heard some like stuff on this poison effect. Yeah, like we're not ready for it. They're yeah. releasing it before it's ready, and it's like. I've seen scenes where a bunch of birds had died in the first place because they put the 5G towers and it was just awkward. Yeah. Dude, it looked like a uh, a plague or something where you see, like, all the animals die. Yeah. That's kind of... It was creepy. Yeah. And then there's people at um, airports who are getting super sick because there's 5G in airports and some airports. Right. And people are, like, literally to the point they're dying. There's deaths on it. But 
We're not hearing anything about it, supposedly. I don't know. I don't know too much on it, but what you got on it? Um, I don't really have, like, details. I have my own thoughts. My own thoughts on it is that when it comes to that level of anything, when it's, like, energy like that, like, radiation, shit like that, that could definitely be a thing. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, the the rapping is started two G three G four G five G. You're going kind of fast with that, and this is me getting my conspiracy brain. really fast. Like I have no like solid beliefs on anything. I'm just I'm at a standpoint the whole corona thing. I'm making clear because we're gonna get into some shit with this, and I want you like, oh, these guys are fucking losing their shit. We are definitely conspirators though. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. But my idea on this whole thing, my stance is I don't give a fuck what's going on. I just need to keep a level head and get through shit. That's it. I'm not. I don't need it. to go no further than that. Neither do you guys. Ain't no reason to fucking lose your shit. But the 5G thing could definitely be true, bro. Like, all that shit did just start. They just, you know what I mean? Like, energy and, and science and all these different forms of power, bro. Like, they give, they all give off something. It's all chemically, you know what I mean? It's all chemically made up. Like, so it could be a thing. We don't know. What was, what was your first conspiracy? Let's let's go conspiracy for conspiracy. What was the first one you, you said? The first one I said... Uh, China's blaming the USA, saying like, "Hey, they they brought in an army, like army people that came in who had like been infected." Yeah. And the main place where it happened in like Wuhan. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but in October. Yeah. All right. Me and you have discussed this yesterday, today. Yeah, probably before. Go. That. Back in like November, December, early January, everybody was sick, bro. I don't know if it was just our area that this happened it, it to, but yeah, it wasn't. It's it like wasn't I was okay. paying attention to Facebook. I got like friends in North Carolina. I got friends in California. I got friends in Maryland. Dude, there was a way. Everybody was sick. And so now I'm hearing this thing too to where I heard the thing about the China thing. You know what I mean? Where they blame it and say like it started America and then we took it over there and then we try to blame them for it. All, all possible. It's there's definitely like I'm not 100% saying like that's not possible. It's all possible. Yeah, I it's just very we possible. Were all sick and it was a weird sickness. I don't really get sick. Turn your headphones down, bro. Uh, I don't really get sick. <laughs> I don't like to hear this shit. Uh, those are fire, bro, by the way. We should talk about your headphones in the nerd out section. Well, nerd get out the section? Astro A40s. See? Astro's A40s those coming in fire. clear. Yeah. And agree. Really again, that's not working. Um, but that's definitely that's definitely possible when it's fire to sit like that. Fire. I got to give me some of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Close those, that up. Those are fire. Uh, uh, but no, it's definitely anything's possible with this. Let me clear they get that out too. But it's definitely possible. Like I said, we were all already sick, bro, and it was the weirdest kind of feeling. Yeah, it was like it was so weird the feeling that in the past ten years I might can tell you maybe one or two times I've been sick. But this sickness, everything they said that was happening, like all the shit matched. Yeah. I remember going to the hospital waiting two and a half hours, and then they call me back just to get my vitals, and they're like, It's still gonna be like two and a half to three hours to see you. Yeah. And we we ended up leaving, but that was back when this all happened, dude. And like yeah. the cough, everything they're saying, it all seems like identical. And it's like, well, something's sketchy. What's fucking going on now? Like, yeah. and it's the point. Like, I'm not really scared of it because like I feel like I almost I had to have had something very similar. Mm-hmm. And people might call me crazy. Like, no, no, it's just now we're figuring out about it. And I'm like, if, if you pay, I've never seen a sickness spread like that. If you paid attention, bro, like. I just noticed I have family friendly as one of the tags. This shouldn't happen because this is not family friendly. But uh, all you got to do is like kind of pay attention, bro. Like I think the fact that like it gets brought to the light and people start bugging out, it makes the whole shit like a big fucking deal. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it drives me crazy. What's the next? What's your next one? The next one I got the... Uh... Just the idea of it being a um a Chinese like making a bioweapon, but it's just being ever played on purpose. I know, how would you what do you think about that shit? Honestly, I mean it's possible maybe that is the China like making a thing. They have the ability if you have all this shit like and all things coming in from you. Dude, I, this is so weird for me. Pardon me, if it's coming from you, I almost want to blame somebody else too. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. Because if I was going to start a virus somewhere and I was going to like psycho- psychologically fucking start something, I'm not going to... Where you hear it's from, that's not where it's coming from. That's where I wanted it to come from. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm just mind-fucking everybody. 
you all think it's there, but psh, it's, it's not, over there. It's yeah, not over there. That's why, like, you can't you can't really go with none of this shit. And that's that's why I said in the beginning, like, I don't really care. Fuck it, because. As being a person that can spiritualize, I can see all this shit being a little true. It's all very possible. Like everything. But my biggest, I haven't seen too many zombie theories, which I'm glad because that's like, that's another whole other step. That's, that when, is very, that that's is when people step. start really bugging the fuck out and, you know what I mean, buying hella, hella guns and weapons. You should always have a gun, you know, at least one in your crib anyway, but just because you don't know what's going to happen. Um, just in case somebody right might on. come in with a gun. It's all might, safety, might, yeah. might have one. Safety's kind of a helpful thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. Uh, but my only big concern, like if shit was to get real, real, really real, viruses mutate. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know if I said this on the last show. And from what I've heard, there's two different mutations of the COVID nineteen. What are they? Uh, no, I have no idea. But supposedly there was a version of it, like where it first started and then got it mutated into something else. Yeah. I have no idea. This could be false stuff. It was something I read. I didn't even jot it down. Yeah. But just the fact you said it just brings up that whole, like, me remember seeing it. Yeah, I've heard it's pretty much, like, you know I mean, a, a, a strain under the flu. But that's my biggest, like, hmm, like, what could happen? And one of the things people are doing is making this big, like, flu comparison and shit. Like, oh, this many people die from the flu. But not this many people get the flu this fast. Yeah, that's the way the, it does. I, I don't think people are, like, paying attention to every level of it like yeah more people have died of the flu but ain't this many people had the flu at the same time bro that's what makes the whole idea when we had it weird because i never thought i've never seen there's tons of times when you hear people get sick and maybe one other person gets sick yeah but i never it hit it where it hit a fucking wave of people like bro, that you and your lady was sick same time right, 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 right when me and my lady was like getting over it yeah like but still sick my baby mama was yeah. sick one of my kids was sick like my mama wasn't feeling good and my mama don't get sick either for real like Everybody I knew was sick, bro. Like, they were saying they didn't fucking feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit was kind of wild. We had joked about, like, me and Carrie alone. Like, we were like, hey, we're quarantining ourselves from people. Because we were to the point, we thought we just had some stupid fucking flu. Yeah. I was pissed off because I was getting mad because I kept seeing all the vaccine signs everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, man, they're really pushing flu vaccines. And I got sick. And I was like, fuck. Yep. Maybe I should have got a vaccine. But then hearing all this, I'm like, wait, this is all just getting sketchier and sketchier yeah. to me. I stand against flu shots, by the way. Yeah, I'm not I'm not for them. Like, just for the simple fact, I've never had them. And that sickness was the first thing I've had in 10 years. Yeah, I don't know, what that, I don't know what that does to anybody. Or, like, if y'all think I'm, like, some kind of, like, kooky person for that. But I don't believe in the flu shot thing. I'm cool. Yeah. And I'm, but I'm not trying to push it on people. Like, yeah, do whatever like, you want. Like, I'm good. I'm saying it hasn't really got me anywhere. Like, I've never like, had I've one. I've been fine I've never, without I've it. I've never had one and never had the flu. So, what, we got? what, what well, was the next one? What was the next one? Um, The whole U.S. making it a bioweapon. Trying to maybe take, I guess, like a world control. And that's from, like, Iranian, Iranian, China, and Russian have all three accused us from, like, making it. Mm, that's too political. Next one. <laughs> no, nah, but it's not like I just don't really know what to say about that because it's it's just the same accusation shit. Well, everybody gonna accuse everybody gonna. Well, you know what do you think? Um, go ahead, go ahead, spit, spit. Well, with that stuff, I, I'm I'm staying out of that because like I don't know. Yeah. It's obviously believable, yeah. but it's obviously I don't want to go there. Yeah, like <laughs> I don't. Want, I'm like, it's, it's too basic too. It's just too it's too basic of a thing. Like, oh, the U.S. did it because like anybody could say that. Yeah, no, it's very like anyone could say anything. Like the old uh, one was, and my lady was a conspirator on this, and she don't conspiracize about shit. She just got to live her life. She don't really get into that shit. Stays why. <clears throat> Ooh, episode belch. Was that All right, guess that out. Episode? That was a good one. I'm she sorry. If you don't like belches, then. We, that, was a, that was a demon that just came out of his Man, mouth. Yeah, that was, I'm sorry. That was kind of disgusting. That was, <laughs> <laughs> but. pause for the coronavirus wipe down there. Uh, that yeah. <laughs> We only have oh, Rudy Gobert situations. Uh, oh, jeez. Shout out him. Um, he said he's feeling better getting over it. Um, what was I saying? Fuck, this happens every episode. Every episode. What about Oh, no. Uh, um, there was one saying, like, the Democrats did it to uh, put pressure on Trump. And, you know what I mean? Da, 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 da. There was that one, which... All things are possible. Yeah, like, I don't, all things are possible. All things are possible, bro. Like, what else you got? What, what, what other ones uh, did you have? Or did we already get them? Not in how I said, like, not to try to be the racist in the racist time. So but racist. in the Arab world, they're saying, like, SARS and swine flu 
Like, they're literally doing it, U.S. does it to its own people to make them get vaccines to make money. And it's a psychological warfare they do to their people. Which, that's believable just by the idea of how what the media has done to the shit. Yeah. And how they've outsparked it. That, that's the problem with, like... The, that's a scary thing to me, social media now, bro, on the internet now, like, it's hard to deny that you can control a group of people with an idea. Yeah, it's just scary. Because, like, motherfuckers just literally went buck wild. Like it's fucking nuts over it. Motherfuckers is like literally fucking like, oh, we're going crazy. Like, like, yeah, I got the toilet paper. Why? Why, bro? We instantly go to toilet paper. God damn. It's just, just never going to fucking I, hit with me, man. It it's drives never me gonna insane. Hit. It's it, never going it, oh. to. It drives me insane. Like, I was talking to Shane. Shout out Shane. And Shane gave us some, uh, we're going to do a movie perspective on this shit. But Shane gave me some movie stuff and uh, made some comparisons, and it was pretty dope. I wish I could kind of like just play it on the show. But comparisons. People literally lost their mind just like every movie when there was a panic. They lost their shit. Like, oh, yeah. Well, but it crazy. wasn't nothing crazy. It was toilet paper, thankfully. I guess, thankfully. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, first of all, I'm someone who's kind of always been that's like ready for a riot. Not a riot, but when... Say something happens, it's huge, and everyone starts, like, rioting Ruggers and taking some stuff they need. A freak out. Yeah, like, I'm totally ready for this because I really could need some shit, like a TV or something. That would help me out, a monitor. Uh, so the looting. When the looting happens, so I can't wait. Selfish. I do want, like, all the videos. I would love to be part of a looting. Just yeah. once. Everyone needs to experience everything once. Some looting will so be fair. fire. It depends, though. It depends on what it is. But it's like, I mean, I feel like people aren't looting now, but we're all going crazy oh, for toilet I'm paper. Going to the shoe store, bro. You're going to loot the shoe if store? If it's petty looting, not like responsible looting. If it's petty looting, I'm looting the shoe store first. Like, oh, what are they going to take? Oh, he's taking shoes. shoes. Fresh-ass gear, nigga, Nike sweatsuits, Jordan shit. Nigga, I'm, I'm copping. Then, then I'm going to the jewelry. I'm copping that too. You. So you're just going to hit them all. You're just going to hit them yeah, all and just nail it all. Then I'm going to the gun shop. I might go to the gun shop first, actually. I'm going to the gun shop first. Then I'm going to the mall. Dude, I saw a meme. This one posted, uh, like, it was, um, say shit gets, like, crazy, like, zombie type thing. And they're saying, hey, for all these people who just stocked up on everything, thanks. That will be mine soon. Yeah, I've seen, like, a, I've seen, a, I've seen a couple of those. Like, it's like, it was, holy it was shit. Like all, the, all the gun owners. Uh, like, it was like a face all the gun owners make while all the people it's without guns like that, yeah. are looting or some shit. Like, it was weird, but like, I'll be taking up. that. Was, Dude, it was something fucked up. Like, I laughed and felt bad at the time. I'm like, this could be real. Bro, if there was a fallout, it would get nasty. Oh, it gets so, nice. it so get, fast. It would get so nasty, fast. bro. What would, all, what would all the junkies and dope fiends do? Well, first, dude, I feel like they're the finest people right now. Because They'll be able to survive, but what if they can't get any drugs? Oh, I don't know. I do. I don't think that's going to be anything. You think they become the biggest concern in the fallout? If all they can't the, get the their stuff? junkies that just are raging out because they can't get their shit. And they just start stealing anyone's start medication stealing, they can. Killing anybody they can for like the smallest fucking shit. Like, you got a little bread. No, shit. Ah! I see them being like the craziest when it comes down to crazy. Like, say they don't have it and they're just withdrawing on shit. Yeah, Boom, they're killing bro. some people. I'm getting far, far away from uh, our downtown. I don't even want to say city names. I don't want anybody to look bad. Oh, yeah. I'm def- there's, there's definitely spots I'm going to go. Getting far, far away from this shit. We ain't even safe right here, bro. That's terrible. Those motherfuckers would be crawling out the crevices. Like, I feel, um, that shit would be ridiculous. We're, I, we're probably, like, in a, if I just had a busy standpoint, it, it might have went down half. Like, there's still a lot of people out around here. There's still a lot of people out. So people saying, aren't really scared. Like, we, ain't, we ain't safe right here either. Like, Turkey right. Foot be so busy, bro. I'm naming streets, but it's probably a thousand Turkey Foot's in the world. I don't care. I don't know where we're from. Yeah. Uh, turkey, foot, turkey, turkey Foot's so busy. Like, we're, we're a go-through. You know what and I mean? Yeah, and we're constantly, we're, constantly here cars. I'm on a lootable street. It's like down in a little crevice. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't come here with that bullshit. But I'm saying I'm on a lootable street. You are down in a crevice. Yeah. Like, so all these streets are lootable. All these streets got backyards with escapes. And <laughs> if I was going to loot, I'd start here. Yeah, now. But the old people, they probably got canned goods and shit stocked up. Oatmeal, grits, and. Dude, you they know, probably do around here. Beans, like can can foods for day. Rice. They got those shit. jugs of water. They're just like, oh, well, you really want to buy those. Garages around here. You can get probably, everybody got like a chance. Yeah, so they probably and you open up their garage. Them. There might be like a little boat in case you need to go like pontooning in the water. If, like zombies should happen. You know, everybody go out and do water sports around this motherfucker. Like not like shit. big. This ain't like Cali number. People like to go cabrewing, 
If y'all know what that is, canoeing and getting drunk, white people stuff. Um, we so, don't got a lot to so, do in Kentucky, so that's why big around here. Not. But bro, like, I'm huge. about to map out my looting territory. Your looting territory, like you're gonna make a like a whole uh, a pirate thing, like to the X's. You gotta hit all your spots. Get all your the treasures. Looting map. Yeah, the looting map. It's about to go down. I if can y'all make watch, a looting map. Yeah, you ready? You ready? You ready to plan this shit? Yeah, I'm absolutely you ready. Shit. If y'all watch our show, like literally, we started. It's like the fourth or fifth episode. We did a zombie apocalypse joint. That's great. And we gave our tactics. One of my favorite shows. Uh, Thirteen Very Reasons great. to Get High is my number one show. Uh, from cover art to, to content, it was Thirteen fire. Reasons to Get High. It was fire. It was one fire. of the classic old firsties. One, of, one, you know what I mean? Uh, where is it? At? Right here, right here, guys. See that? You see it? Shut up. I hate you all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fucking read, man. We did. <laughs> we did a zombie show. Hey, Will J. Uh, we did a zombie show, and it was fire. And one of our tactics, or one of mine, I don't know. I don't know. If, damn, I'm going to call you Hateful K. I don't know if Special K agreed with me, but one of my tactics was if I had to shelter somewhere and I couldn't shelter in my house or fortify my house, was to go to a Home Depot. Yeah, I was going to say, I was just at Home Depot, and every time I go to Home Depot, I think this. Yeah. Because I look at all the shit. Other than the lack of food. That's it. That's it, yeah. That's it, but you like but safety, you're, you're five stars. It's definitely like top notch. They probably have enough snacks if you went to a Home Depot right on a zombie apocalypse. You can get all your best weapons. Because your best weapons aren't always going to be the guns yeah, and shit. Few, uh, You're going to want a lot of axes and hatchets. And they got a few pop coolers and snack thingies. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, like yeah, all yeah, that. Right, yep. I didn't think about that. Yeah. They didn't say you need any wood, any lumber, they any shit. They like power bars there too randomly. Which is great. I, I assume a power bar would be a great time. They got power bars and get it You're right going to need your electrolytes when you, all day. When you're doing your hardware shit and building. It makes sense. It'd be crazy. And dude, I, I feel like it would be great to build my own little fort with maybe like 15 people. Bro, it'd be great. You got... Like, I think we were talking about building armor out of, like, sheet metal and, you know what I mean? You got drills and screwdrivers and All nails and you can weld shit together, bro. I'm saying to say that this still stands. This still stands. That's still my, if I can't fortify my house, I don't like this door situation we got. That's, you know, right there, oh, Brian. That's not, that's, that's not okay. Um, but other than that, bro, like, if I can't fortify my house, home yeah. is still to move. It, or it's at least a stop. It's at least a stop. It's it's it might be like the command center. I go. I feel like you need to have like three places. Like you have there. Yep. Then you have like a store, like a maybe like a mire, not like Walmart because it's too obvious. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. But like Walmart, a mire. Walmart's a is gonna get fucked over. Like who's going to mire? A bunch of old people. Survival yeah. of fittest. Bring it. Uh, <laughs> like literally. We gotta come on. get our fucking oatmeal. Yeah, you're like <laughs> fuck it. You all can stay alive as long as we get all the good shit. Yeah. You know, just, Motherfuckers. Sorry, not a no offense to old people. I just know they love Meyer. Um, <laughs> you fucking stupid. I fucking adore it. But I don't know, bro. Yeah, you do need you do need all you do need multiple. You need food and production. That's I feel it. Like, I feel like you need the food, your Home Depot, you know, like your supply area, and I feel like you need a secret storage. A secret storage. Like I feel like you need a place to store your shit that nobody can really easily find. You know what I mean? Like, you need something like that. I would, like, have totes and bury them on the ground and shit, bro. Oh, yeah, dude. I would, bur- I would have multiple, like, stuff like that where you bury it on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would, like, have a makeshift, like, door with the dirt on the top so where you couldn't really tell. You know what I mean? I would just know that's the spot. I might start building this shit now. We need to get ahead of the game. Maybe start, like, a, uh... Well, I, w- I want to have something that has at least, uh, like, a roof where I can sit up to and just snipe people off of. You always want to snipe something. Sniping just sounds like the fuck. Special K is going to be Daryl. Who doesn't want to snipe? Special K is going to be Daryl. With a crossbow? A more cleaner Daryl. I've never really thought about being a crossbow user because I don't want to, like, shoot it one and, like, say if I do get the perfect headshot, I still get my fucking crossbow back. But if I miss, GG, I just got to run because I ain't reloading that shit fast. I ain't that good. I just see you as that because you always pick Archer in some video games. Yeah, no, I would love to be Archer. You know what I mean? Like, I am bro, the Archer, man. Archer, bro. Let me be the gun guy. You, you can be, be the, the gun Archer, guy. Bro. Fine, fair, dude. Let yeah, me just get a, yeah, let me get a long bow and a quiver, man. You can let me get a long bow and a quiver. Slash motorcycle, dude. And I'll be the gun slash like caravan. I want to let me get let me get an old school horse that I trot on. That's fire. And I'll have I a bow. A I'm gonna look like Legolas. I want a horse. Too. I'm gonna be Legolas from uh. You can ride the horse more, but I want to have a horse on back. You should. Well, you do. You should have. You should have like that all black knight horse. Where you're like the black knight. You should be like the black knight. Thank you, bro. You should. Thank you, bro. Absolutely. So you, sh- you should. 
You should to the point like <laughs> you meet other black knights and you guys joust each other. It's so, just gonna be a black knight joust, and you just win it. Will joust for these bread loaves? You know, I'm exactly. For seven bread loaves. Seven bread loaves. Two or four cans of kidney beans. Mm. Let's do this, bro. I feel like you know I've been playing my telltale shit. Joust off. And like we spin it off all the way into the zombie shit. Cause that's the funnest part of this. Get the fuck out of here. FBS. I, I, I like how you got into the whole zombie. I'm talking about sound bites. <laughs> talking work. zombies. I'm talking about sound bites. My do my sound bites work. You got value. You got uh, value let me check. Let me check volume. Again. Yeah, I want to see my sound bites work. I'm gonna push this button. Let me see. Did you hear that over there? Or did it just come out of here? I don't know if I have. I don't have my volume on. God damn it! We playing with the stream, guys. We're trying. To, I got sound bites on here. I got. I got an anime saying. It's an anime nigga saying like nigga. Special K can hear it, but you can't hear it in the stream. Um, I don't think I have my desktop audio on. I don't know if I have my screws loose. Screws loose. I can't hear anything. But um, yeah, man. The, the zombie part is. No, I got it right here. Let me see. No, you can't hear the stream. Oh. oh, dude, I got my volume down to the side. Oh, could you hear it in the stream? I can hear it I now. feel like it is. So you can hear this? Is it going to come through? Is it? Is it? Is it? We're going to keep talking. Oh, dude, it's totally coming through. Fire. Huh. Anyway, I'm just, I was playing. With, I got a stream deck. I'm a big ass kid about it. Um, But I feel like... <laughs> This guy gets so excited, but I feel like just bro, uh, dude. I feel like we should always be prepared for stuff like that. We don't need a zombie shit. What was what was the next what was the next experience you had, Special K? Uh, um, I was the Philippines. Seems that we are just in a war with China secretly. Secret wars. Yeah, we're like a little secret war with China, a little bio warfare. <sighs> if we are, it's a bad idea. I'm sure it's bad. I feel like they they got, they got us beat in a lot of categories. What's the next one? That's all I got. That's all I got on conspiracies. I ain't trying to ever conspiracy it, of course. Yeah, you know, you know, we we got the fun part out with the zombie shit. Um, what we know so far about the Rona, you know what I mean? I, I, the I, Rona. Do you want me to give the Rona facts? Yeah, get the Rona facts, bro. What we know so far, because everybody's kind of bugging out. Live some Rona facts here. Everybody, everybody's kind of bugging out, bro. Let's 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 get, let's get the real details. We do know that it does not only affect old people. It's right now, more right. serious than old people, but. Elderly. Let's stop saying old people. That's rude as fuck, man. PC life. Uh, have, the elderly. You could have, first of all, the obvious is you could have from two to fourteen days after exposure without realizing you have it, which is uh, kind of like a silent creeper. I've heard that. Um, the but, worst thing is for older adults, people with heart disease, diabetes, and lung disease. Anybody with pre-existing conditions. Yeah, it says pretty much after that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the number one thing they want you to do is uh, just avoid crowds and cruise travel. Obviously, the simple things. It is 10 people or less now, everybody. 10 people or less. And to the point, like, you, I just kind of want to travel now because nobody else is. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of the introvert uh, memes that say, uh, you know, like, I you don't have no problem sitting in the house and I can't go out. I kind of want to go outside. Like, um, The coronavirus actually began in 2019. Uh, CEO stands for Corona Virus. Or CO, so COVID. That's how it all comes up. Mm -hmm. It used to be called the 2019 novel coronavirus. Mm -hmm. I remember, the, uh, I remember there's that. There's a giant stigma right now created where people feel the need to blame others and then just gossip and create rumors about it. So it's one of those things. It's kind of like a game of telephone. Things are just blowing up. One person tells one person something and it just gets bigger and bigger. That's that people shit. Um, they're saying it comes from animals. And it's much like MERS and SARS, but things that have to do with the respiratory systems. Yeah, I did hear that. A bunch of breathing stuff. I did hear something about that dogs can carry it. They can't, like, you know, get sick from it, but they can, carry, they can it. carry it for a while. Yeah. That's even sadder, man. That's bullshit. And I got three. I got, I, got, I got three dogs, but I ain't treating them no different. It is what it is. Still get my pets. You know what I mean? It is what it is, bro. Whatever. Like I said, we, it, like me and Special Guard said, we all already had this shit, bro. Like, it's already I'm so been, glad you're saying this us. part right now because I got it says when's it okay to leave isolation and they said free from fever, and then no longer showing cough. Free from fever is something during the sickness that like it happened pretty quick. Yeah, dude, but that cough didn't disappear for like fucking weeks. Yeah, that thing stayed and stayed and man, it was fucking obnoxious. It made it hard to breathe. It did. It really was annoying, bro. 
Um, they're saying it cannot be transferred by food. It's more of a person to person type thing. That's why you're still getting the carryouts and the tight food situations. Yeah, I think that's why. Uh, so I think it's like four NBA players I got it now. And like everybody was like, because I'm Saudi about the NBA season. You know what I mean? I was in the, it's fucking I was in the weird, playoff man. of my fantasy and shit. It. But I understand they got to do what they got to do. And you got to think like these motherfuckers be like <sighs> <sighs> in each other's face for what? 48 minutes. When else did this happen? Space Jam. You know what I'm saying? I know, Space Jam means. <laughs> uh, but like, it's, it's crazy. Like, so I get I get the whole sports thing because like literally like it's supposed to be passed like like that. You got sweat and fluids and some, it, some motherfuckers be spit when they talk and shit. Oh, like, yeah. That's the most face-to-face contact of anything. Basketball? Constantly, dude, yeah. Like, that's fucking you face-to-face the whole time. Like, Everything. And you're around. Like, you can't get around me. You can't get around me. And what you gonna sur- do? What you gonna do? <laughs> dude. He was breathing. Dude, he, he, was he was the one dude who bro. blew in uh fucking LeBron's face one time. Lance Stevenson, the yeah, goat, bro. Someone just blows in your face. That's my nigga. He dude, back. he's hilarious. Supposed to come back to the Pacers, by the way. Um, and dude, they're surrounded by like fifty thousand fans a day. That'd be crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of breath. And those seats. Have you ever like been to an NBA game? I've been to one in my life, and you are. You're surrounded. Dude, yeah, those seats are like ass to dude, ass, bro. I side hate. To side. Hey man, how you doing? Oh, Dude, sorry. that feeling with the whole uh, the elbow rests, and you're like, yeah, you're like completely too, you're close up, and you don't want to use it, using it, using it. This you don't want to be a dick, game, yeah. Man. This is great. Hey man, oh thank you, dear. Mm, like get the fuck out of here, bro. Like <laughs> everybody breathing on everybody, and there's just no staying room. No, <laughs> even when you go to the bathroom and get in line, everyone <gasps> behind you. Yeah, bro, fucking bullshit, bro. Um, they're also, one last thing, they're not sure if the weather affects it, like, say, a common cold or a flu during cold weather, it spreads faster. They're not sure if that even matters in this. Well, that is some Corona news. Corona. Oh. A few more things with this. We're going we gonna to leave this. We do. We are going to talk about some movies that relate, but that's our entertainment section of the day when we get there. Um, nice. Um, we news real quick in the middle of this. Leafly is doing a uh, what's the best way to get high tournament? Tournament? They doing a what's the best way to get high tournament? Leafly is. Uh, I got some details here, guys. Is it just like a voting thing, or are there people getting high? I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out to put it right now. I'm out to put it right now. Give me one second. Give me one second. One second. I'll give you one second. Give me one second right now. Uh, it's Stoner Madness. Leafly's. What's the best way to get high tournament? The um, best ways to get high. And I just I just sent it to myself. Shared it to myself so I can have it. <clears throat> Calling all stoners, calling all stoners, it's time to debate. Um, with the March Madness canceled, we're not ready to let the season pass without getting some bracketology. Um, Dude, I, I love brackets in general. I don't know if that's a weird thing, but I love when people do tournaments and brackets. Just, just go do it. Don't kick the camera, you son of a bitch. Um, you've been telling your blunt smoking, this is straight from Leafly, by the way. You've been telling your blunt smoking bestie that joints are way better, while well, grandma has been telling you edibles are way better than vape pens. Well, starting today, it's time to put your voting where your mouth is. Cash your vote in the article below. Blah, blah, blah. So, pretty much they're doing a voting style tournament, voting on the best ways to smoke. Um, This starts, fuck, what's today? This started, this started yesterday, March 16th. Um, Sweet 16 voting is 6 a.m., 6 p.m., and so on and so forth. It goes every day. Um, and What do you think some that, of the top contenders are? I got you right here. So the Sweet 16 are joints, infused beverages, candy edibles, tabletop vapes, blunts, sublinguals. I don't know what the fuck that is. Baked edibles, pipes, steamrollers, handheld vapes, gravity bongs, vape pens, bongs, one hitters, dabs, and topicals. It's like lotions and shit like that. Um, topicals isn't winning. So, at all. The first round was yesterday, so I got the winner so far. Uh, between joints and infused beverages, joints won that shit. Between candy edibles and tabletop vapes, candy edibles won that. Blunts and sub- sublinguals, blunts because nobody knows what the fuck sublinguals is. I have no idea. That sounds like a language. If there's like probably a few people watching. Google tells what sublingual is already comes to fucking marijuana. Uh, baked edibles and pipes, surprisingly pipes on. Um, dabs, topicals, dabs. 
Bongs are one hitters. Bongs. That's super obvious. Vape pens are gravity bongs. Vape pens, I can see that. Gravity bongs. Like, that's the young young people shit. That takes time. Um, I wouldn't mind gravity bong. I, I would say gravity bong is a top eighter. I guess. Um, <laughs> handheld vapes and steam rollers. Handheld vapes. So, in the next round, we got joints against edibles, which today. You can vote between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. All right, guys. So joints versus edibles is today. Joints and candy edibles is today. I'll uh, leave the joints. Blunts versus pipes. I'll, I'll take... I'll take Pipes. Dabs versus bongs. Dabs. Dabs, obviously. Uh, vape pens to handheld vapes. Vape pens. What the fuck is handheld vape? Oh, the little just like, like a, I guess a jewel? Hmm. I have no clue, but I would say vape pens. So, and then it'd be done, it's going to be done like jo- joint and vape pens, and I want to say vape pens are going to win. I'm doing my vote now. Joints, candy edibles, and joints. 78% right now. Joints is 78% to 22%. Nice. Versus that's dope. Edibles. I, I think that's pretty um Buzz versus Pipes. I'm pipes. Bleezies, man. I'm just I'm just going Bleezies. No, Pipe, yeah. pipes is winning. Sixty four percent. Uh if you know math, out of hundred percent, you know what the other one is. Thirty six percent. Thirty six. There you go. You got it. Dabs or bones, I'm gonna go dabs. Bones is killing dabs, which I kinda makes sense. I thought it would happen. Sixty four percent. To thirty six again. Uh vape pens and handheld vapes. I'm gonna go vape pens. Sixty four percent vape pens is up. Yep. Vape pens are like the fucking the hot dogs, dude. Uh, in round one, joint speed infused beverages ninety two percent to eight. Cause no one's drinking infused beverages. Candy edibles and tabletop vaporizers was dumb close fifty one to forty nine. Damn. Uh, blunts the sublinguals. What the fuck are sublinguals? Oh, okay, it's a little dropper. So I guess it's like the stuff you drop on your tongue or some bullshit. Ah, uh, so it's like a microdose of something, like a microdose of just it's straight. Not, it's not acid, but it's a. Dropper dose, more more correctly. Micro dose is just any small dosage of anything. Gotcha. It's like the the to the hundredth or something. Um, bust the sublinguals seventy three to twenty seven. Easy wins. Baked edibles to pipes. Uh, it goes under your tongue. Oh, sublinguals go under your tongue. Yeah, as I said, the little dropper thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, pipes, baked edibles, pipes sixty five to thirty five. Uh, dab smash topicals eighty seven to thirteen. Uh, bongs to one hitters, eight three seventeen. Bongs to one hitters, yeah, eight three seventeen. That's crazy. You think blunders would have a little more? Vape pens to gravity bongs, sixty four to thirty six. Uh, hand vape steamrollers, seventy three twenty seven. I actually don't mind steamrollers. I think this is a dope idea. I don't like it. We might steal this idea, dude. They did it with um South Park and their characters, and it got down to uh, I think is either Cartman versus Randy or Randy versus Kenny, like one of the two. Yeah. Yeah. I forget who won though. Oh, uh, we might definitely steal all of that and do it for the group. I don't care. Shout out Leafy. No, nah, that'd be cool. I, everybody I'd love else to do that. does ideas. Why can't we like take a little something? We should just that. take it and uh, make it ours. You know, yeah, make a little bro. FNBS style. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the fucking idea. Right. Now, that, they, they, that, that ain't how we. That ain't how we get down. We, we we try hard to be original. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yup. Let's get into this entertainment. Entertainment. Dude, um, I, I had got a, you. I had a few things I watched. Uh, I can't remember. None of them right now, but Queen and Slim. I did watch Queen and Slim, and it was a good movie. But What's it called Queen and Slim. Queen and Slim. Um, it was a good movie, but it was more of a romance than like a chase thriller movie. The ending was, you know, a pretty epic ending. You know what I'm saying? Um, Westworld, the new season has dropped. I have not seen it. I haven't yet. seen it either, and I'm I'm disappointed. I haven't watched it. I just have in time. Yeah. But also, Westworld is not a show I like watching one episode at a time. Yeah, I might wait. I fucking hate watching. I want to watch them all every goddamn time. Yeah, I think I might go through with my lady and start at the beginning because she's never seen them. She's and never seen Westworld like at all? I like Refreshers, too. In the first season, Westworld's amazing. I could yeah. rewatch that again. Yeah, Easy. all of them are, bro. It's fire. Because uh, it's like this third season, right? Yeah. Um, You remember that Mark Wahlberg shit we talked about with uh, Post Malone and... Yeah, the movie? The Spencer Confidential. Not not that good. Not that good. I'm gonna give it trash bags. Give it Kroger plastic bags. Kroger plastic bags. Kroger bags. Only well, has decent like small amount of garbage. Do still have cheap theater seated at a cheap theater? Sm- nope. I've never seen a theater. You wouldn't see it at a two dollar theater. You no. wouldn't get house friends. Some of you just watch at home, but you might get distracted. You might get distracted. You might want to walk away. How did Posty do? You might want to walk <laughs> walk away. I mean, he had like a couple little blurry rolls, but I guess it was all right. 
Yeah. Post Malone looks so grungy all the time, bro. It's Dude, hilarious. he's constantly it's grungy. It's hilarious to me, bro. Dude, don't, I find him hilarious. He don't give no fucks, and it's great. It um, is. It is what, that's what makes him great. The idea of someone gives no fucks. The Birds of Prey movie. I've not got to see that. Have you got to see that? No. But it's, I've heard alre- mixed. it's already coming to video on demand. No way. Yeah. Already. Now, yeah. now, my initial thought was I knew it was going to be trash bags. But then I'm like, mm, maybe it's because of all the shit going on in the movie theater is be closed anyway. I mean, but that's I think true. it was just trash bags. I think it was. I think it was trash bags. I think. I think. I think it was just trash bags. Dude, I'm I not think try- it was trash bags. I think it was. I think it was trash bags. I'm not trying to be that guy, but the only people I know who said it was good were like girls bragging about it on Facebook. Like, I just saw the new Birds of Prey movie, greatest thing ever. Like, I feel like you're just trying to tell me what you did that night and try to look cool in front of everybody. But it's like, <laughs> bro, there's no way to movie. Like, it's just annoying to me. Oh, um, our local comic book store. We went in there when we was out there. I heard uh, Tess talking about it. Shout out Tessa Mike. What'd um, she say? Did she like it? She was just saying that she, her interest wasn't really there because she wasn't keen on the story, the background story, which led me to know, like, I assume that all this stuff comes from comic books, but I really didn't know that Birds of Prey came from comic books, so now I know. That makes sense. You know what I mean? But I just think everything does now. That shit was probably trash bags now. Um, what was we watching, bro? We were watching something else. The Pale Horse. The Pale Horse? That's a fucking I terrible name. Can't remember. It's 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 a while. I can't even think if it's a Netflix or a Prime show. But starts off pretty fire. Some wild, super nat- supernatural ish, uh, witches and whatnots and curses and crazy shit. Um, uh, so I don't mind witchcraft movies. It's, it's worth watching. I like um, witchcraft movies. What else have I watched? What else have I watched? I don't think I've seen anything else, bro. I've been it's been busy like production learning week for me. Just learn a bunch of stuff. Yeah, well, computers, everything kind of goes poopy sometimes. As you guys saw with the first stream that I'm going to delete. Um, Dude, I'm a, I'm a, I did see the, uh, how we were just talking about this or a couple weeks ago, the little dicky show, Dave. I new, still haven't checked that. I keep Dude, forgetting about that. The bro. newest episode was completely about, like, him and his girlfriend, like, the awkwardness, like, you go through in relationships. Yeah. They fucking nailed it, man. Like, they are killing it. It's fire. Yeah, like, it was so awesome. And that's the point where, like, my girl's watching, and she doesn't give a shit about little dicky yeah, at yeah. all. And she's like, that was actually good. But he's a character, though. I think, I don't think you should look at him like a little dick anymore. Like he's Dave. You Dave can tell Bird. from his rapping that he's not just a rapper. Like he's just a dude with a crazy personality. Oh yeah. Like I expect him to do. I expect okay. him to do Childish Gambino Some, level is shit. Just brilliant planning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like smart I, stuff. Yeah. So like, I'm ready for it. I mean, you know, I haven't checked out the shows. Like I. I, I, I got to watch intense shit these days to get my attention. Like, when I can sit yeah, down watch and watch something shit. normal and life-based, like, I'll, I'll check that out first. But I need... I need It's a good background. I need shit to happen. You feel me? Um, feels. Let's get into it with this corona-ish-ish. It's not really corona. But we we're going to talk about the fact that... um There has been a virus since, what, 1996. Every year there's been a virus. And I'm going to look at notes from my homie Shane real quick. Um, shout out to you, bro. Uh, he did send me some audio breakdown of the crazies 28 days later in cabin fever. Uh, but it's five minutes of audio. I didn't have time to dictate everything. But Yeah, one of the movies I wrote down was 20 days later. That was yeah. one of my favorite plague movies. Yeah. Um, we should probably just get your shit first. I'm going to give a little tidbits. But there's been a virus outbreak literally from 1996 to 2020. So not, e- not, not a year was skipped. So you look at a bunch of movies from like the last fucking decade pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere, yeah. Oh, uh, for instance, like with the Corona, that pandemic movie came out. It's like two of the ones that came out. You know what I mean? It's like a pandemic series, and it's about pandemics and all this shit. But kind of jumping back to conspiracy, bro. It's like when you have conspiracies, and then you have all these surrounding things, it kind of makes it hard not to believe in setups and planned and like intentional the yeah oh yeah like intentional shit it's hard to make a thing like oh man this maybe this, somebody else did like what comes out just oh here timing yeah it's like ain't nobody fucking fooled by that but the three movies he he named that you know what i mean because i asked him for his perspective he's a big movie watcher uh the crazies 28 days and 28 weeks later in cabin fever um and i remember one thing he said about the craziest was like how everybody panics so fast. Everyone just loses their shit. Like, which is a common trait in oh, all yeah. in all these movies. It's human nature to freak the fuck out. Um, cabin, <laughs> cabin fever. I didn't listen to his take on it, but 
I would have never thought of cabin fever in this sense at all. I, I was one of the ones but I didn't write it down. But so. that's kind of wild because it, it was like out of nowhere. And it literally just, everybody was like, meh. And then just kind of like everybody, <laughs> everybody was fucked ASAP. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Um, special kid, go on, go on, I know you got some. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I did. I got uh, and, I'm, and then I'm going to go back to this. Uh, my four, I have two different categories. I have ones that are actual, like, real movies, and then I have two that are comedies that they did this with. Okay. Four regular ones. Obviously, 28 Days Later was great. I thought that was a great play movie. Uh, Resident Evil, obviously a virus movie where they release a virus. And I love the series. Uh, Which was the biggest one that related to the beginning of this. The whole this? Uh, Umbrella Academy shit. Oh, uh, yeah, Umbrella, the Resident Evil, yeah. Umbrella Academy. Umbrella Corps. Dude, I know. Um, Raccoon City. There was definitely somebody who came out of the woodwork. Remember how we're like r- raccoon or raccoon city could be reversed in Corona? Yeah, yeah. Someone's like, no, no, that's not how they spell the rac- raccoon city in the game. It's two C's. Yeah, yeah. So they kind of doubted that. But um, I have two more. The Faculty, which I thought was a really good movie, where it was like someone got, like they put something in the drugs and everyone was turning to aliens type thing. Yeah. And then the biggest one that has to kind of do with this is uh, Twelve Monkeys with uh, Bruce Willis and like Brad Pitt. That's a good one. That's a good one. And it's about a guy in, like, 2035 who gets sent back to stop a pandemic that sends everyone underground. Yeah. So if we ever get seeing it, something that crucial where we all have to go underground. Underground is the way to go. Well, Monkey's called it. I swear underground is the way to go. It should get bad. Underground is the way to go. I'm going underground, yep. Yeah, like, that's that's where I'm at. Like, I'm trying to get busy underground. Let's go. There could be a whole world underground. We don't know. I'm just going to grow, like, I'm going to grow so much weed under there. There's <laughs> so much weed under there. Like, why is that the first thing I thought about, man? Do I have a stoner problem? Um, comedy ones, Slither and Shaun of the Dead. Slither or comedy? I, I Slither consider was Slither, funny, yeah. but it was yeah. gross. It was it, it was effective. There's zero effect. The whole idea of it, like disgusting dog. That shit was ugh, terrible. Wasn't that like the maggoty things? Yeah, they kind of yeah, look like little maggots. Sluggish, sluggy things. Bro, that movie was fire. Oh, dude, what was, was the other one you said? Uh, Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. Or the virus is outbreak, but it's more of like a funny outlook on it. That was like the last VHS I bought, by the way. That's a solid VHS purchase. Yeah. You know what I mean? Solid bitch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, what else you got? Uh, Well, there's... I have two scenes from TV shows that, like, kind of make fun of quarantines. Uh, There was the um South Park pandemic episode, and that's where Randy has the camera, and he's just filming him the whole fucking time. Yeah. He's, like, talking to the camera, talking to the camera. He's like, I'm so startled. Yeah. They did that, and then Always Sunny in Philadelphia had a scene where they quarantined, and... They all quarantined, but they were getting sick, and it turned out they all just were alcoholics and just needed to get a drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So stuff like that. I think uh, the most similar one was Contagion. Contagion. Yeah, because it was literally just the same kind of virus. Of course, way more violent and deadly. You know what I'm saying? More drastic. But the fact that we have all these movies, bro, I mean, like me and you have had the conversation, I'm pretty sure, of, in our conspirator minds, you know what I mean? In the mind of conspirator. When we effing thousand it up, that a lot of these movies they make are just imagination things. No, there's got to be realness to some stuff. You know what I mean? Like some of this shit got to come from like somebody knows something and, you know, it's like, you don't tell anybody, but you can make it into a movie. Yeah, like, like we got to subliminally tell everybody this is real. Like, hey, I got That's how stuff I feel, man. Use. Like, you know what I mean? That's exactly how I feel. But. Now, if you, into programming. if you follow the movies, if you were to follow the movies, what's the next? What's the next thing that's going to happen? Like in a movie? If those do, if those do movies, what's the next step? There is a coronavirus movie out coming right now. Like, it's being made right you know now. I mean, like, if, if real life right now. Oh, if what's we our looking, next step? If we were looking based on movies, what is the next things that happen to society? What is the next step? Like we're, getting it, moved, we're, we're getting moved underground. That's all I'd say. I could see it, dude. Yeah. There was that whole thing that happened probably like two years ago where like there was like big sinkholes behind Walmarts and evidently there were people like building stuff underground. I'd be fucking... Where did that go? What happened to dude, that? Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like what if we randomly, this has all been a setup and we're going to get moved underground? These things come and go so fast, bro. It's wild. Like, that was the most interesting one to me. The hidden cities under Walmart. Oh, I love that idea. That was fire. Because you're like, I want to know what's going on there. Like, and there was pictures of people like walking around underground tunnels, and you're like, what the fuck is this? Hey, bud. Oh, Jim. I just got, just got this new Walmart exclusive 10 inch Funko Pop. Dude, what? and it would happen like in like, three that's days. That's you sons of bitches. And Walmart would just be empty. People look inside, they would sneak their cameras inside, and it would just be empty racks. 
Yeah. Like, Walmarts are fucking huge. Yeah, crazy. Right, but I'll get off that. <laughs> no, nah, but if the next step, I think if we're going, if this is one of those movies, the next step would be martial law. Yeah, I see martial law coming. That's another conspiracy. I see it's a possibility of coming. Step after Let's that, there. the step after that would just be madness, and it'd be all downhill from here. From there. It's all downhill. But the one from thing here. that wasn't in the movies is people buying toilet paper. Toilet paper. Not one time were we warned about the toilet paper. Never. Issue. Never. Bro, we need to make a parody movie off of this. We need to make our own FNBS Studios presents coronavirus movie. I think we should do a, an an after skit where it's like ten years later and like you see people just carrying around toilet papers and you're like it's been 10 years, and people are still freaking out about toilet paper. It's 10 years I don't understand this. The toilet paper craze has 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 not has not subsided. It's still going. There's it's no paper still for going. bungholes here. Like, get the fuck out of here. I don't <laughs> understand you people. And this whole thing made me want to do a What the Fuck America episode. What the fuck? I lose track of volumes, so I don't know what volume of What the Fuck America we own. But you, you, you never know. What's your favorite pandemic movie? The pandemic movie. What's your favorite? What's your favorite pandemic movie? Uh, it was the uh, the Twelve Monkeys, probably. Is that, that's, that's your favorite. That's what I want to say, because I I thought it was a really good Brad Pitt movie, because he acts like the crazy guy. Yeah. And then Bruce Willis, which uh, I've heard bad things about now, but um, he was actually a really good actor. You heard bad things about Bruce Willis? Bruce Willis? I just hear he's a dickhead. I, it's not like I'm hearing he's okay. Harvey Weinstein. I'm just hearing. He's yeah, a jerk. I was about to say not Bruce Willis too. Yeah. God, dog it, dog, dang it. Oh, Jesus. I want to I want to talk about something random entertainment. I do want to talk about. I don't know if you want to talk about it. We don't get too much into it. Is the stream still up? My internet went off. But it's still. Up. That's wrong. All right. Um, the Corey Feldman thing. Special K. Did I tell you that I ended up getting to watch it? You did get to watch it, bro. I didn't know that all these things he was talking about in this were already talked about years ago, like Geraldo. It was like, like the same shit. Yeah, we we're like, oh, you're not. This isn't new shit, motherfucker. I didn't. I mean, it was new to me, but I'm like, in the thing they showing these clips and all these accusations that have been came out and all these things. I'm like, why was this a big deal if he already did this? You know what I'm saying? Dude, and uh, Carrie in the chat told you it was a scam. Oh no! I said that. I said that yeah, to you. You believe it too, but yeah, I'm I saying said, like, I said, but I, how can you be a person and do that to people? But like, I, like, I, like I told, like I told everybody, even talking like the podcaster and me had to watch it. It wasn't about, it wasn't even about the information. I just wanted to see how it was gonna go. How much do you think he made? Not as much as he wanted to. Not as no, much, no, not no. as much as he wanted to. He had a but, pretty good decent paycheck. But but it was it was only thing I can say it was interesting to watch. Just to watch how people fucking tell stories and watch how, like it, it was, it was still interesting. Like if you just watch people to see how they act and move in situations, it was definitely interesting to watch. Like, oh, but I didn't sure. know all this shit that came out already. I didn't know all this shit was. I didn't. That was my thing. I was like, was it? Was this it was Charlie already Sheen talked about too. Was yeah, it, it was Char- Charlie Sheen and some other people though. It was some other folks in there. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, I could just. But the whole ordeal was like, but like I told, I told you, and I told Steph, I'm like, I'm pretty sure he just think about it. If a million people pay twenty dollars, he made some dope. I'm at this but point. I'm a goddamn podcaster. But I need all the info. I'm at this point, like, I'm like a little bit pissed. Like, dude, you made this huge <laughs> deal. Like, you're about to out some huge names, and you out Charlie Sheen. Hey, shout out Carrie for saying Corey Feldman's a weenie. That's hilarious. <laughs> that <All> right? Is, <laughs> because look, when you watch it, he's very weenie ish. Like he dresses like a weenie. And I'm not. I'm not being sensitive to anybody that's actually I'm been through. Trying to get anybody in trouble. That's actually been through. The, that's actually been through these things. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not doing that. I'm not trying to make fun of that. It's just you. Just whatever, man. You never know. Like I said, if you don't like it, click the clicker. If you don't like it, there's an X button at right. Where am I? Right here. There's an X Somewhere. button. There's an X button right there. I'm trying to get as close to it as I can. The, X button right there. Am I close to it? It's not even. It's, 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 uh, it's right there. Delayed, so I can't even see it. It's right there. There's oh, an X there, button. There, yeah, there, there, it's there. X button. X button. I'm gonna put an animation. When I say X button, like the family. That's out there. We're bam, bam. to it. You know what I'm saying? I will tell you sound bites. What we got? What's this? What's this sound bite? Let's see. 
You got Jeopardy soundbite. Yeah, Jeopardy soundbite. Oh, you, got, you know what? If you don't Dude, like I it. I got a perfect segment for this Jeopardy thing, too, with these things I got for you, man. You got some Jeopardy shit? I do, man. I don't, I don't think I got. Save it to later. I don't think I have the. I got. That's the Price is Right joint. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, but we'll get back to it. Um. Yeah, man, that shit was weird. It was just weird to watch all these people talk about this in their old age. And if y'all don't know, like, the memory only retains 100% of its information for, like, a year and a half to, like, three years. I just know it's one or the other. And so just deteriorates. when you, like, hear something 50 years later, like, do you do you know if you're ever getting full information? Not even pertaining to this whole situation, just period. Just a fun scientific fact. I like science. Um, science is great. What else we got here? Me and Special K were talking about, and this is probably the last we're going to do on the Rona, but it was... La Rona. Me and Special K were debating on, or we're going debate. to debate, <laughs> the celebrity contribution to, you know, people donating, and I got to that because I saw, like, a lot of my friends, like, normal people on Facebook, like, you know, what, willing to babysit, and, like, that's, dude, will, yes, willing that's to, like, donate that. cereal and milk and, like, whatever they decided, but that's fire. They're the true heroes in that scenario. But, you know what I'm saying? I said to Special Kid, like, hey, can you grab a list? Because, you know, I do all the production work. Sometimes I need some help. You know what I mean? And I was like, Special Kid, can you get a list of the celebrities that don't it? And NC shot at me and was like, uh, I don't believe that. I think that's crap. And, you know, but so that's where our debate started. And let me hear your take of why you didn't even want to talk about it. Well, my, dude, my first, my first whole thought on it was. And I also agree with his sentiment, but I had, I have a. A way to spin things. Go ahead, though. So, um, I feel like the whole, since the whole current thing's coming out, and since the media is blowing up on it, I think it's a very easy way. If someone just came out of the blue, like say you haven't been hot for a while and you're celebrity, yeah, and you want to get a little clout, you want to get people to notice you, boom! I just donated like twenty grand to some foundation to help. Blah blah. Look at me. I'm just trying to get some fans, make people to show this. Right. When it's like you could have donated and done something a million times, you could be helping homeless people, which you don't hear about. But just because a social meet, like a big social thing comes out where it's the coronavirus, now you're using it for your advantage. So people are going to notice you doing something like that, where it's like you could have done that stuff. It's right. like when the Haiti stuff, or like during those things, like you don't see these people actually going out and helping people. Yeah. Okay, now I get that 100% because there are cloud chasers. But I'm going to say this. To have that be your only view is kind of like, it's kind of wild to me because just because you are a celebrity, just because you do do something and we know about it, we don't know if that person does other shit. You know what I mean? And I think when there's anything happening, like, the Haiti shit, no matter what. And you said something fire in the message earlier. It didn't say just now, and I was waiting for it. What but it? you said uh, there's homeless people, something like that. I, don't, I ain't, ain't going to say it because I don't know verbatim. But there's homeless people, da 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 I get that, too. But there are also celebrities out there that do do shit like that, too. Oh, we don't need a pandemic that, that, for a reason to help people. Yeah, but there's also celebrities out there that, like, help. Do stuff on a basis like your Kanye, Normal your Jay Z's. Yeah. There's a lot of people that do shit for their community on a daily basis, and I wanted to bring it up because it's just it's just a positive thing. So, and none of these people that I'm thinking about need clout, but I think when you attack it like that, when it's attacked like that, you literally take away from the person. Because like, if I get rich, I would donate to shit. You know what I mean? I wouldn't post it, but I haven't seen none of the celebrities post like, hey, I donated. It's just news. You know well, I mean, then that's good. Oh, I don't, like, know. It's so, yeah, so I don't like, know how this news is taken. But, like, yeah. because and I, don't, I don't think it should take away from your your humaneness just because you're a celebrity. And I think I would feel insulted like it was like, oh, yeah, but you could have did a whole lot of stuff. Like, maybe I do do stuff. You know what I mean? Like, just because the news is saying that doesn't make it a bad thing. It's like, oh, this person donated, but, man, nah, he's a celebrity. Like, person still help, though, like, no matter what. And... You can't really judge that. You can't really turn one positive into a negative because that person is famous or because, like, other things are going on in the world that people need help with. There are other people to help. I think you can feed on like other feelings, Like, if you, if you type it in, there's a lot of these motherfuckers that, that get busy. You oh. know what I mean? Like, Kevin Love is, like, one of the biggest contributors to, like, a lot of shit. We don't hear about it, though. No, I, I, when it came to a lot of the sports stuff, I feel like the sports is a lot different. Yeah. Celebrity stuff when it comes to like movie stars and stuff like that, I think 
I just don't think of it's a big old thing. These are people who just you have a chance to help people all the time, and you're just I feel like it's honestly taking advantage of it. But if they don't promote it and they don't say anything, I get that. Because the people, like, I did write some down, and I haven't heard anything on these, and these are huge numbers. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a lot. It's a lot of people. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I just think your first thought shouldn't have been that. I think you should probably consider, like, okay, like, there's, you can find more positive in that than negative, I think. That's just my opinion. Because I feel like we all need more of a positive outlook instead of, like, be ready to lash out at things. You know what I mean? Because we don't know all the details. We only know it because right now, Corona's a thing. So every motherfucker that put up some what? money, there's going to be reported like... It could be looked at like getting blackmailed makes someone like you. Like, hey, like I'll do this if but, you guys start to like me. But why would you assume that that's the intentions? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, where do you come from? Dude, why would you assume that someone in Hollywood's just raping everybody just to get people to come on Hollywood? I mean, that's You too, wouldn't assume that too, it, but, but that's, that's how it happens. You can, it's you the can, sad truth. You can have that, and you can have that, but... We're not talking about rape, though. You know what I'm saying? I no, get what I you. Get I get what you're like, saying. Like we're literally talking about people donating. You're saying like, why would someone donate just to do that? Well, obviously, people want more things. If you're gonna, it's like making an investment. Well, I'm, I'm, if I'm I not down, saying, no, I, I'm not saying why would somebody donate do that because people scam. I'm not saying that. I'm saying why would you, why would you instantly assume, even without knowing the celebrities, you didn't even know the celebrities. Why would I, you? Why would your first assumption be a super negative assumption that oh they just did it because of this instead of like looking like well part of it was like us too like i don't want to give credit to people who are donating when we didn't give credit to people who weren't donating before i just don't want to give people credit for like hey you donated for something that was huge when it's like there's been countless things that we probably could have done before and we didn't give any credit to well i get that but my my point of this was my point of bringing this up was the fact that we're seeing it happen on a small level we're seeing normal communities and like we're seeing people come out the woodwork and help my point of it was just to show that They're from, little, from little to big, people are well, helping. What are some of your you donations I mean? you got? To bring, only one I can think of rip is uh, Rudy Gobert and there was like some baseball players. It's all athletes for real right now. No, I'm cool with that. Like it's all athletes. But athletes are people too. Athletes, Kyle Chase, like they they the same. There's, they all millionaires. Athletes are richer than half these it, other like people. But anybody can Kyle Chase. It just, you can't differentiate. Like I feel like if you're going to feel like that, you might as well feel like that about all the, all the rich motherfuckers. You got, well, I mean like, Bill Gates, you probably haven't heard anything about, has already put in a hundred million. Yeah, Jack Ma, I'm not even sure that was, but fourteen. I heard about Bill Gates shit because he 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 said some dope shit about it too, and I wish I had it. Dude, Alibaba, hundred forty four million. Who? Alibaba. Who the hell's Alibaba? Ali like, like Alibaba, Alibaba. I don't know. I like it's just the name Alibaba. These are just the people's names, so I don't know. I'm, th- I'm thinking of a Latin. You gotta think there's gonna be like some people from like Korea, some oh, people from China. I think Alibaba is like a. Uh, what do you, what are those dudes? They be having the they be having the tigers they be having the tigers and stuff salt not sultans, um, sultan the crazy motherfuckers but they be dumb rich they live in like castles, I don't that's want that's what I'm sounding like it's Indian like a, not Indian I was saying like an Egyptian like god like not god but like king it's like a ra- Middle Eastern let's let's yeah, say like that this middle, yeah 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 um there's some some place called Tencent which is a China giant they did like forty two point seven million. Uh, there's one place that did 250,000 face masks just trying to give them out to people to help. Yeah, I heard about that. Drink. Yeah. And then Dell and some place called Cargirl each did about 285,000 yeah. each. Yeah, see, that's dope. Like, it's These the, are people, like, I didn't expect yeah, I was like, that, Dell to do yeah, shit. But, like, <laughs> you had expectations as soon as I told you to look it up. You instantly went to go. Alibaba is an AA company. Oh, word. It makes ah, sense. Ah, nice, nice. Alibaba, huh? I was thinking, of, I was mil. thinking of AliExpress. Then I thought Prince Ali, Ali uh, Golly, it's me, Alibaba from Aladdin. And then you know, yeah, I was thinking Aladdin too. Then it was like the Tiger guys. Well, no, that's All what right. I'm saying, bro. Like when I said, look it I up. I did think of the general wrong. Wasn't. Yeah, like it's just because I think of the wrong of people a lot, man. I, ain't gonna lie. I mean, but you gotta. I'm you, pessimistic when it we're comes here. To we're here. If y'all don't know, we are here to push positivity any way we can. That that's that's what it was all about. It was all about pushing the positivity. I don't know who's doing what for what. I just think it's dope that people are doing something. That's fine. Like, Hurricane Katrina people did stuff, you know, minus the president at the time. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't say that. I don't do politics. Um, not on this show. No <laughs> politics here. Like, uh, hey, dude, if the po- if what's going on now where they're about to send us all each, like, a thousand bucks or something. I heard about this. You all can please do this. Is it for the people? I heard they only stipend in the small businesses and something else right now. Yeah, I, have, I have no idea. I'll, I'll take some. I'll take some, say, I'll money. take some free money. As well. I'll take some dough. Let me get a little, me a little piece. Yeah, help me out. Help for me real, out. Let, my, let my lady get her money, bro, because she's gonna be hurting more. You know what I mean? 
Dude, like I feel like her. Like, there's a large amount <clears throat> of people in the server rush, like industry, like that. Service and I mean, hit. it's yeah, taking it huge, man. Any mom and pop business taking it huge, anything like that. Hey, is that good? No, well, I'm gonna talk to you about this in a minute. Never mind. Um, I ain't gonna be able to turn around without fucking something up. Got you. Um, but yeah, bro, I just think, like I said, I just think it's dope that people's helping. I always want to talk about the positive because everything on the internet, bro, is just it's more and more conspiracies. Day. People like just kind of freaking out. That's that's super annoying. Like, it's, it's super annoying to see the freak out because even if it was worse, if we freak out like as a as a people, yeah, that's like, gonna be worse than anything else. Like, I feel like we're right now like, like a half and half. We have half people freaking out, half people steady. Yeah, they bought all the fucking toilet paper, y'all. This is the toilet paper. What the fuck, America? Toilet paper. Like literally, toilet paper exclamation question mark exclamation question mark exclamation question mark toilet Camp paper, food? dude. You think they'd be like going for canned food shit like that? Nah, toilet paper first. I'm still, I'm still like completely paused that nobody went to water first. No, why well, need water when you can have toilet paper? Why well, need water when your butt can be clean? I don't fucking get this shit. You got water or a clean ass? Oh, you have clean ass. Get right in water. Get the fuck out of here. I told my lady. Uh, that I know what to stock up for next time it's a pandemic. Just kind of like think against the practical and you can make some money next pandemic. But she was like, last pandemic was 1918. I'm not going to be on our lifetime. And I kind of like right. stopped, got a little sorry, like, you don't know that. You don't, know. Anything. You don't know what they're going to do next. We go through phases. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't learn one in two years. We don't know what's going to happen five years from now. Like, but yeah, we don't. We don't. Like, you might want to stock up on socks for the next pandemic because there might be, oh, you should stock. You should stock. Need to get up. Socks. Like, what are y'all doing out here with the paper stock goods? up on socks anyway. Socks are great. You'll never know. You'll never not need socks. Yeah. The only thing I feel bad for is, you know, of course, people that have lost their lives to this disease, you know what I'm saying? People, there's a thousand ways to die in this world. Like, but I'm feeling bad for the moms who's trapped at home with no, oh, no yeah. child care. And the people who do just can't work fucking make ends meet. That's That sucks. Like, Dude, anxiety is at its fullest right now. And this this is <laughs> this is where I have the attitude you had towards celebrities. Like Duke and somebody else that like pause bills. But they didn't pause shit, they like just not gonna be on your ass. Like so your bills still gonna build up. Yeah. So when you go back to work and behind you're, you're going still behind, in debt. Like, come on, bro. Like, what are you doing? Like well, Italy stopped everything. He was like, nah, y'all good. All, y'all yeah. good for a minute. No more, just don't worry about nothing. We're all losing our shit. Maybe, maybe like Duke did it in a way. Like, are people who I don't know people that all use Duke around the world. So if anyone else is listening, but Duke's people who do like uh, our power around here, giving people some ease. But oh. they did it so fast. They did do it fast to the point maybe they're like still like, hey, by the way, we still want our money, but we'll be lenient before and they I, had a chance to get I shut down. Lie. I didn't think Duke would do shit. Like, oh well, here's oh. the deal. <laughs> like, well, they uh, so like savage. You, you guys were cool today. <laughs> they're <laughs> the most <laughs> savage utility company, bro. I ain't trying to hate, but hey, y'all savage, dude. You know, no, y'all, they are. y'all don't care if I'm talking about y'all. Y'all just want y'all money. I know how it dude, goes. Duke and Spectrum around here, you be getting Spectrum. killed with that shit. Fuck them niggas, bro. You know Power who, and internet. You want them? We, we, we back to rambling. This is rap. We rambling, but you know who I fucking, I'm, I'm tired of, bro? Only because on. they customer service, and I'm not, I'm not hating, but like, if it's not a person with broken English, it don't matter. They could be speaking English. They have the worst Phone service, bro. When you're Possible. talking to them, hello. Like, you know about sprint people? But yeah, I want to uh, come to. My- they hope you just give the fuck what? up. What was that? Huh? Um, you didn't say shit. All right, I said I'm not. I didn't even do nothing. And like, you end up bro, hanging up, and they you like they win. Mad thinking about it, bro. It's just so annoying. And then you get somebody like I can usually understand all the accents. Or you're fine. You got that. What? What the fuck? Am I, are you underwater? Like it goes harder. Are you underwater? Huh? Are you gargling bubbles? Dude, they're just like, oh, yes, we are underwater. We're not oh, underwater. Alert. <laughs> <laughs> We're not underwater. Alert here underneath us. Listen, bro. Mediterranean. Y'all mad about toilet paper, and I just want great sprint service. I just want to talk to somebody that fucking got like a normal volume voice. How are you going to be a phone company with the worst phone reception? Service? These typical. are landlines too, Fucking probably. Typical. These are landlines, bro. You know what I'm saying? Landlines. Yeah, I got five G towers, but you can't. I can't get. Where's where we do? You got some randomness. Just I do got some just, randomness. Just 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 go. 
Dude, are you ready for Fuck this? Fuck you, Sprint. Dude, Duke, you got that you Jeopardy my music? Ass. I don't care what y'all did. You, what? I'm you got sorry. that Jeopardy music? You ready for some? Yeah, let me, this is, uh, let let me of, turn my uh, this down so it ain't coming. Do you got you? Well, instead of um, in case people don't know, we usually do Would You Rathers, but I have switched up the Would You Rathers today. And it's going to be a little special K fun time questions for Jay. I got about seven questions, a little fun questions. Is it a lot of words? But it's going to be fun. You're going to enjoy it. This is going to be awesome. But I really want to hear the Jeopardy music before I hit you with each question. Bro, or at least one. The Jeopardy music don't come until after you ask the question. Do you even watch Jeopardy? Really? It doesn't? Dude, no. I don't watch it. I can't answer that shit. God, man. Just step your Jeopardy game up. That's how you get depressed in life. What? Uh, watch the Jeopardy and watch I feel Jeopardy. as smart as all the fucking Yeah, birds. no. When you get to like 10 questions and you don't got one good answer, you're like, I don't want to do this. You'd be surprised how like how easy some of that should be, though. Uh, All right. Ba da ba ba. I probably First just question. I probably just lied though. Go ahead. These aren't like question questions, but uh, I wish I had the rest of the sound effects. You son of a bitch. Go ahead. Though. Who is your favorite TV show dad? Oh shit! Favorite TV uh-huh. show dad? Bum 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 bum. Bob from Bob's Burgers. That's a pretty dope one. Even though it's a cartoon, I'll give it to you. That's dope. I got. I got to go with that right now. You know what mine was? Because he's always he's always rattled. Dude, he's real too. He's the realist. Yeah, the realist. <laughs> Keep that shit one hundred. I, I had to. Uh, I was either gonna say the dad from Malcolm in the Middle. Uh, what's his name? Hot. I can't. Hal. Either Hal from Malcolm in the Middle, yeah. or uh, Red Foreman from that '70s show. Oh shit! Red Foreman was fire. Right. Like what, was, uh, what was that shit? He was like, Peter Cottontail. Peter Cotton. Hopping down the bunny oh, trail. <laughs> <laughs> he was high as shit. I need a Red Foreman soundbite, bro. Dude, and those soundbites I played in this episode, guys, let y'all know, there weren't time. That was just me playing with buttons. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I know you got to orchestrate and do it. I'm just playing with buttons. All right. Next up. Who is your favorite? And this was more of a cartoon. Who is your favorite cartoon mom? I hate these questions. You a son of a bitch. Dude, you, you know you know who the best mom is in the cartoons. I don't, though. Kind of like you said, TV show mom. It could be TV show mom, too. You could do either one, TV or cartoon. Peggy Bundy. Peggy Bundy? That's yeah. a class act. Because Peggy didn't give a fuck about what Al was talking none, about. None, dude, none. <laughs> fuck what you talking about, Al? I'm not cooking shit. Dude, that's a class act. I'm not chocolate bonbons, nigga. I'm watching some Oprah. What are you that's talking about? Do the bonbons? That's, that's one of my favorite TV show favorites. I do not know what bonbons are, but to this day, I know that Peggy Bundy always I had them. I could be wrong. If if a bonbon, I think they're like chocolate covered like wafers. What's that? Like, like cookies? Think, like round chocolate covered wafers? I think. I remember I'd way 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 though. way way back because I've been going to the movies a lot since bonbons. I was a kid. They used to sell them in the movie theaters back in the day. Dude, honestly, bonbons. I can believe them being sold. Oh, I'm gonna pay this for a gas refresh. All right, next one. Who is your favorite duo in a cartoon? You got a favorite duo? It could be a TV show too. We'll do cartoon or TV show. Cartoon duo. Oh, bro. Cow and chicken. Cow and chicken. Let's go. I was thinking you were in stump. Cow and chicken, bro. They kind of the same. It's kind of the same. It's, it's kind of the same. I swear to God, it's kind of the same. It's Chicken just a little flamboyant. Maybe Rick and Morty, if you count them as a duo. Yeah, but, but they ain't legends yet. It, yeah, I feel like that's family, so you can't yeah, count them as a duo. They, they ain't legends yet. They got to they gotta, they gotta finish this off right. I'm, I was not impressed by that first half of that season. Did that new season drop? I, I don't know, dude. I saw a thing on it, though, on Hiller saying it starts again. Let me remind myself real quick. We do need to find out when uh, Rick and Morty starts again. That's important. Yeah, that's very important. Slick and Morty. All right. What is your... Favorite action show, non-cartoon. What are you watching? You're getting a lot of action from right now, or it might be dead right now. I don't think I have anything action right now. I was gonna go with Into the Badlands, even though we're slow right now. I was gonna say Into the Badlands. Into the Badlands. But I feel like there's something, the only- there's something else though. Game of Thrones is off. So that's not very actiony. I know you'd be watching the one movies like uh Preacher. Preachers? I've heard of Preacher. Preacher's fire. Let's go. I'm gonna go with Preacher. Preacher? Alright. Two to go. Two to go. So I got the demons and shit, vampires, and then it's like 
they get they get funky. Shit gets real. Shit get real. It, it reminds you of a. Uh, it reminds you of something Quentin Tarantino would do, like a Dust Till Dawn feel. Oh, I'd be happy the with cinematics, that. Cinematics, the the dialogue is fire. Dust Till Dawn is a very good classic. Yes, 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 yes. Clooney. All right. What is your favorite show you ever binged? Like where you got it, like you didn't know about it, found it, and you binged it, and you binged the fuck out of it. You're like, what is that? Oh, I'll watch all of this. Do you fit. know how many shows I binge, bro? That's what I'm saying. Like you gotta you have are one. Full of shit today. You gotta have one where you seen one. You were like, damn, that was a you, good binge. You are something else. You, <laughs> I, I didn't even know the round of music. You son I of a bitch. I didn't know the round of music. I got the extended version. Oh my god. I'm trying to think of something I've binged that I was just honestly, like, bro. The show that I binged the hardest most recently that I could think. Dun dun dun. And it's wild, but. 13 Reasons Why. 13 Reasons Why. I did not expect you to nah, say that. No, because for some reason when those seasons dropped, I had to keep watching. Like, the way they set, the, it, wasn't even, it wasn't even the content. The way they set the episodes up, they made sure they flowed smooth. Like, I've never seen a show such well done transition episode to episode. Like the 13 episodes? Yeah, they made it transition so well. Like, it was, um, it was like all one episode. You just had to, like, take a pause or something. You know what I mean? I'm trying to think what mine would be. My best... Sound bite too loud. I got you, Carrie. I turn it down. My one of my favorite. Oh, dude, I got it. When I first watched Lost, I can't turn that right now. But I'll turn one it of them was Lost. Dude, Lost, I watched so fucking fast. Lost was fire. And I killed it. Lost and True Blood. True Blood was fire. <laughs> oh, you know what? I gotta change it. I gotta change it because you took me back some years. Heroes. Heroes. I know some people I'd be heroes. binging heroes. I, I binged Heroes, then I bought them all as they went on sale and binged it again. Like it's just great. It was fire. It was a good binge. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> He rolls. And now for your final question, Jay. The one, the last final one. I can't, I don't want to play a sound bite. I'm going to blow out Carrie's speaker. We won't play it. I'll do, I'll just. just, I can turn it down inside the stream deck. I can turn it down inside the stream deck. My new toy. I'm happy. Is this loud? Hold on. That's probably loud as shit, ain't it? It could be loud as fuck. I got no sound on it right now. It's in that heart. Um, What is the most embarrassing movie that you like? That you have to admit that you like? You're like, God, it's, it's not manly, but I like it. Or. Bro, I, ha- I have a few of these. And I can't think of another one, but I got a surprise. I got a bunch, bro. That you like, Jay? What? You like this? Jay? 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 You like that? I don't want to do this with you, dude. My I, my hands down one is uh, I loved Pitch Perfect with the acapella people. Yeah, yeah, I know. And it's it embarrassing as shit to tell people, man. That shit was fire. Just because I can't really think of nothing, uh, I'm gonna have to go with that. The Ghostbusters with the chicks. You like the female Ghostbusters? That was fire to me, bro. It was oh, super geez. fire to me. Like, oh, I really like that movie, bro. Oh, God. What, man? Man, fuck you, dog. Where you going, man? <laughs> Son of a bitch. I hate you. Oh, jeez. All right, what else you got, bro? Oh, jeez. That's, that's, that's it. That's all you got? That's all I got. That's all you got? What about you? We got a thought of the day, Jack? Thought of the day, man, since we're talking about the corona. Uh, my thought of the day, bro, was just, hey, relax. Chill you know out. what I'm saying? Like, relax. Like, no matter what happens, just fucking relax, bro. You know, like I said, I had a Facebook post said something about, you know, when a lady's getting chased and she's running from whoever and she's trying to run to her front door. She gets to her front door, tries to unlock it. She's fumbling her keys. She, she drops the relax. keys and she gets murdered anyway. No relaxation. You panic, you die. Somebody said at one of my old jobs. You panic, you die, man. Like there's so much worse can happen if everybody loses their shit. You know how many people can't wipe their booty right now because of you motherfuckers? You know how many people can't wipe their ass? You know how many people like work? We are in toilet pa- we are in a toilet paper pandemic. Like what is this? We're in a toilet paper fucking recession. Wait, this is a TP- uh, TPP, toilet paper pandemic. Don't listen to the news. I watch CNN just because I want to see what's being said, but I don't take none of that shit to heart. I don't. You gotta, you gotta have your own state of mind in these situations. Worry about your own shit. Worry about your family. Fuck what Facebook is saying, and just fucking relax, bro. Take a moment, just take a step back, and realize everyone's going nuts over toilet paper. This is my thought of the day. Oh. How dare you! No, nah, that's cool. You can say, you can say, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Well, uh, uh-uh. oh, no, nah, for real though, man. Just like for real, relax. Like think about, there's a lot of people who can't fucking work right now. That's the biggest problem we have right now. There's a lot of people Facts. that can't do shit and earn income. If you can fucking still work or do anything for the person next to you, help a motherfucker out. But relax. That's it. Thanks, well man. Said. Thank well you, said. dog. Just relax. Relax. Bro. Help out. Relax. And we out this bitch, man. Especially you got anything to say? Uh, sh- hey, everyone, just be calm. We're all going. We're all pretty much dealing with the same shit right now. 
we're like a global quarantine in a scenario probably gonna be soon. Uh, we're just hopefully here to give some I good give entertainment. It, I give it a week. We ain't said nothing to try to like incite scariness yeah. neither and fear to y'all because that's bullshit. Yeah, we're not trying to scare anybody. We're just trying to tell you some stuff. We obviously we had to do at least one episode on something like this just because it's the only thing people are talking about. I'm sure there's tons of people who are like fucking quit talking about it. Yeah, but we had to get our stay out on it. You know what I mean? I don't think that's it. We want to stay healthy, stay safe. FBS podcast, Hateful J, Special K, Special live, laugh, love, roll light, smoke it, and wash your filthy hands, and we gone. We out. Well, that was pretty dope. Vibing in chief. Pour up some drink, yeah. Roll up some weed. Throw on some good music, yeah. Vibe out in chief.